Hi, I'm Chris Cahoon, one of the QLab developers, and I want to talk to you about timeline groups. The sequence you saw at the beginning was a single timeline queue. You can look at the timeline that I have here and see that it's a combination of light cues and audio cues. And that, for example, the orchestral music in Q4 has a pre-wait of around 11 seconds. You can see that it starts after everything else in the timeline. And if I want to change the pre-wait of this cue, I can click and drag. You can see that that's reflected over here in the cue list. Now it's at 20 seconds. I'm going to show you how to make a timeline group. I'm going to create a new group queue in an empty queue list. Mine did not start out in timeline mode, so I'm going to go into the mode tab and switch to timeline mode. Now a timeline tab appeared, so I'm going to go in there. And there's no cues in there, so it looks empty. I've prepared some media which will be linked to in the description that I can use to drag and drop right into the queue list. As you can see, they all start out with zero pre-weights and all of them are on the far left of the timeline. Just to start myself off, I'm gonna drag the second dawn chorus a little bit to the right and drag the orchestral music even further to right. That's because the way that I want this sequence to work is to start with the birds chirping and then have it get louder so you have to wake up and then the orchestral music so it feels good to wake up. Uh, now I want to listen to it just to see how it sounds so far. I'm going to click on the group cue and use the V key, which is preview, to listen to it. feels a little rushed to me. I'm going to hit escape twice to stop all the cues. And I'm going to change the timing up a little bit. I'm going to drag both the second dawn chorus and the orchestral music a little bit to the right and listen one more time. This time I'm going to use this little preview key on the bottom right of the user interface. Preview button, excuse me. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Before I move on to the lights, I'm going to do a little bit of organization. First, I'm going to name this timeline group, let's see, Dawn Sequence, just for organization purposes. And I'm going to make another timeline group that I'm going to use to prepare my lights before the Dawn Sequence even begins. So I'm going to make a new group queue, which ended up behind my Dawn Sequence. So I'm going to click and drag it above the dawn sequence. I'm going to rename it to prep. I'm going to go into the mode tab again and change it to a timeline. And then I'm going to start making my preparatory cues. The first thing that I want to do is to get this backdrop into the darkness so that it's the time before the dawn. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the light dashboard. First, I'm going to click the window menu item up top and select Light Dashboard. As you can see, I already have some instruments patched in here. And first, I'm gonna work on the lights that control this backdrop color behind me. I've made a light group called Bands, so I control both of them at the same time. As you can see, they're reflecting the color that's behind me now. And first, I'm gonna set it to be the color that I want the Dawn sequence to end up as. So, I'm gonna go over to a yellowish area and set its brightness to full. And that looks like a good place to end. For my prep cue, I want to set the intensity to zero. Now I'm going to make a new cue with those changes. As you can see, there's a new light cue that appeared in my cue list, and I'm going to drag it into my prep cue. Just to show what it looks like to run that right now, I'm gonna open the dashboard one more time and run that queue.
since this isn't part of the show, I'm gonna make this cue go as fast as it can. So I'm gonna set the duration of that cue to zero. I'm gonna go back into the dashboard now, set the brightness to full, and make another cue to reflect the end result of the dawn for those lights. So I'll make another cue with changes by clicking this button. It initially went into my prep cue, but I'm gonna move it down into dawn sequence. I'm gonna use the V button to run my prep cue, and then use my V button to preview just that cue. Let's see how it goes. It's a little fast, but we'll adjust the timing later using the timeline tab. Next, I'm gonna turn on this loud light and get it set up. Now that this loud light is ready to rock, I'm gonna set up the preparatory cue. To start, I'm gonna make sure that everything uh, is it in, in the right position and at the right color. So I'll turn the intensity up. I'll set the color wheel parameter to the number I am expecting, which is red. And I'm gonna move it below the horizon. Now that's where I want it to be. I'm gonna set the intensity to zero one more time make a new cue with my changes, and then put that cue into my prep cue. The sun in darkness. Now, I'll make the cue of the sunrise itself. To start, I'll set the intensity to 100, and then I'll move the light into my desired ending position. Okay, that looks great. Now I'm gonna make a new cue with changes and put that into my dawn sequence as well. All right, I'm gonna set my preparatory cue, the sun in darkness, to a duration of zero. And I'm, I think the preparatory cue might be ready to go. I'm gonna run it and see what happens. Okay. So now we're in the darkness and ready to go. And now I'm gonna run the dawn sequence and see how it feels. That cue felt too fast. Both of the light cues felt a little bit too fast to me. So I'm gonna stop the cue one more time by hitting escape twice. That's called panic, very useful when editing. I'm gonna go back into the timeline queue, and I'm gonna click and drag from the right side of these light cues to extend them out a little bit so that those cues finish after the orchestral music starts. I'm gonna run my prep queue one more time. And now let's try the dawn sequence one more time. And that's how you use a timeline group. Thank you for watching.